My name is Stuart McDonald, and I'm an instructor here at the Holland College Marine Centre. Well, we can take people here, we start them out at the introductory level as a deckhand, and we can work them right up through the officer's training up to as high as Master Mariner, which allows you to sail any vessel anywhere in the world. So you want to check with Transport Canada first and say, okay, this is what I would like to do. I want to become a Master Mariner, maybe you want to be a third mate, uh, you might want to work in an engine room, it doesn't matter. You're going to check with Transport Canada because they're the guys that regulate this. So they will tell you what education you need to have. They'll give you a list of what requirements you need and they'll send you to Holland College or there's other colleges around but of course this is the place you want to be. <laughs> Here we allow you to, the sea time is broken up, you come to school, you have to go to sea. And you're actually working while you're coming to school, you're getting paid, you're hired by the company, that sort of thing. And so on your time off, you're going to school, working your way up through to become a master mariner. If you come out of high school, you would start, if you had no experience on the water whatsoever, you would take our bridge watch rating program, which is a three month program. From there, you go to sea. After you accumulated 36 months, you can come back any time before that really, but you can come back and start writing exams towards your watchkeeping mate. From there, you can work up different levels, uh, third, second, first mates, on your way up to your Master Mariners. If you decide to go all the way to Master Mariner, it takes about 10 years, approximately, depending on how hard you want to push yourself. Well, right now there's ships tied up around the world that don't have enough crew to operate them. Within the next few years there's going to be thousands of positions available. I have students working around the world, really. Anywhere where there's water, I've got students. <laughs> Most Canadian vessels will work on a month on, month off, somewhere around, you work about six months of the year. And they bring in about around thirty, thirty-two thousand dollars a year. Up the next level deckhand, anywhere's upwards of $65,000, somewhere's, you know, that's approximate, but depending on the company and where you're working and the danger level, the money goes up. The higher levels, I know master mariners that are making close to $250,000 a year in six months, sorry. Well, there's good things and bad things, I suppose. The thing is, when you're away, let's say if you're away for a month, well, you're you're off for the same amount of time. Most companies nowadays will allow you the same amount of time home because they know you need some time off. More foreign vessels, you know, they have longer periods. You know, if you, you could be on there for up to 11 months, but that's, that's a long time on a ship. But here in Canada, they're usually, you know, a month on, month off. That's a really common one now. So some companies are different, but when you're home, that's your time. You can do what you need to do. And, then when you go back to sea, you know, you're back with them. You know, someone that's really willing to work as a team member, you know, it's, it, you're a big family on board of a ship, right? And you, if you can get along with everyone and you've got a good personality, don't mind doing your work, getting your work done, help out other people as necessary, you know, you'll, you'll progress up through fairly quickly.